Hello viewers, how are you? Hope you will be fine. In this video, we are going to discuss induced draft cooling tower. As you may remember, a cooling tower is a heat rejection equipment that discards waste heat to the surroundings through the cooling of water creek to a more moderate temperature. Most cooling towers utilize an electrical fan engine to create an air draft or air flow through the cooling tower. What is meant by induced draft cooling tower? An induced draft cooling tower is also known as mechanical draft tower with one or more fans placed at the top of the tower that draws air upwards. Facing the earthward flow of water passing around the wooden decking or packing, since the air flow is counter to the water flow, the most chilling water at the bottom is in contact with the most warm dry air, while the warmest water at the top is in connection with the moist air, resulting in increased heat transfer efficiency. The induced draft tower comes in a square or round shape and the distribution of water may be done either by the static branch system or by the sprinkler. What are the benefits of induced draft cooling tower? The induced draft cooling tower usually offers the most effective and economical solution to the most cooling needs. Its many advantages are as follows. Flexibility, cost effectiveness, easy fitting and maintenance, low sound level, steady airflow regardless of ambient air valve, flexibility to any water flow, the compliance of operation by shutting some cells, adaptability with all types of heat exchange surfaces from sprinkle grids to high performance film, capability to give excellent protection against icing of the mechanical ingredients. Correlation between the forced draft and induced draft cooling tower. The difference between an induced draft cooling tower and a forced draft is the position of the fan to match the requirement of the aerial suction. In the induced draft tower, the fan is located at the top and above the illuminator such that air is diffused from top to bottom. However, in the forced draft tower, the fan is installed outside the tower and at the base, atmospheric air is disseminated from the bottom to the top. Some advantages of utilizing induced draft cooling tower over forced draft cooling tower are listed as below. More cost effective compared to the forced draft cooling tower, operates 50% less energy while running to forced draft design. It comprises a fan located on the top which forces the air via the fills. Installation of an inlet fan on the top of the cooling tower which produces a low pressure. The location of the fan in the warm air rivulet gives excellent protection against icing of the mechanical elements. Force draft designs typically need more engine power than equivalent induced draft towers. Furthermore, induced draft towers work using axial fans while in force draft towers both axial and radial fans can be used. Industrial Applications of Cooling Towers A cooling tower system is conventional in many industries, chief among them being power, commercial, HVAC and industry. The system rejects heat from the machinery, heated process material, among other sources in the industrial setup. Especially industrial cooling towers are standard in the food processing plants, petroleum refineries, natural gas plants and petrochemical plants. A cooling tower extracts heat out of the method cooling water. Then it pushes it into another mechanism, usually air, so that cooling water is cooled and ready to be recirculated. In plastics processing, cool processed water is pumped out from the cooling tower base and through one or more cooling circuits in different pieces of equipment, that is processing tools, molds, desiccants, dryers, water-cooled chillers, etc. The processed water absorbs and carries heat away from the equipment so that operating temperatures stay in the range required for the optimal processing. So viewers, it was all about induced drop cooling tower. For more informative content, please do subscribe the channel.